Good morning, here is the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of March 16th, 2023. HUD had a press conference on the 15th at Fort Myers announcing a $2.8 billion grant to Florida with $1.1 billion earmarked for Lee County. All the local city mayors attended the press conference, including Sanibel Mayor Holly Smith. HUD's grant focus will be on providing affordable housing to moderate income and low income families. HUD defines affordable housing as the housing cost is no more than 30% of a family's income. Details on how the funds will be distributed has not been announced yet. Update on the boat accident that happened last Sunday night. A boat carrying seven passengers crashed into an empty sailboat. It sounds like the empty sailboat was a half sunken sailboat left over from Hurricane Ian. Everyone was rescued with sea with three sustaining minor, minor injuries. Local authorities is encouraging people to not boat after dark until all hurricane debris is removed. Ding Darling is officially reopening on April 4th. Ding Darling announced that they will have a special ribbon cutting ceremony on April 4th at 9.30 a.m. at the Visitor Center with a small gift for attendees. The Visitor Center hours will be 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Wildlife Drive, Indigo Trail, Wildlife Education Boardwalk, and Bailey Tract hours will be 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Remember, Tarpon Bay Explorers is currently open for anyone wanting to rent kayaks. Huckster's Market in Delhi had a ribbon cutting ceremony this week to celebrate their official store reopening. Huckster's had been operating out of a food truck while their building was repaired. The Captiva Community Panel held their monthly meeting on Tuesday. I'm still going over my notes as it was a three hour meeting, so I will have a more lengthy update tomorrow, but one issue mentioned was Red Tide. I also get a lot of questions on my videos on the status of Red Tide. I recommend going to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection website to get the most up-to-date information on red tide blooms. Captiva ex is experiencing a lot of dead fish on their beaches at the moment due to red tide. A dead dolphin and a dead manatee has also washed up on the island. For Captiva, Lee County is in charge of removing the dead fish and the dead marine animals. Captiva has requested removal, but Lee County is not being quick about it, and residents are complaining about the smell. Captiva might need to buckle down and spend their own money to remove the dead marine life. Thanks for listening.